My name is Lana Johnson. This is my husband, Joe Johnson. We are paddlers with Rakol Creek Canoe Club. I'm also very proud to serve as the health director of the Nooksack Indian Tribe. And um, part of that work is um, to help our youth with the prevention of drugs, alcohol, and suicide using our canoe way of life. I started paddling when I was 11 years old. I was very fortunate. I think that paddling, and a lot of people have testimony that they believe paddling has saved their lives. And I think it gives our people a, a sense of belonging. One, two, three, recall three. With paddling, we're taught to respect the cedar tree because it, it gave up its life for us. So when we paddle and we breathe and we count on our switches and all of our breath and our sweat and our, our sacrifice is bringing that canoe, in a sense, back to life and, and keeping our culture alive. And, and that's what our ancestors and our, our elders want from us is, is to be a healthy people. Before a race, we try to get mentally ready, you know, stretch out. My dad says, bring your minds to the canoe. Forget everything else and, and now it's time to focus on the canoe and what we're gonna do. He tells us to visualize all of us working together, one heart, one mind, one paddle. We're all in it together. We say a prayer before we race. We, we pray for the community that we're paddling in, for, for the people in the community, for our canoes, for, for our paddlers. So I think the emotional, spiritual component is just as important to us as the, the physical sense of, of paddling and, and we try to teach that to our, our kids, to our paddlers. The canoe races that we get to do every weekend throughout the summer bring people together. It allows different canoe families to meet up with other canoe families and all the relations that, are, that can be connected within each different canoe club. So the competition is fierce, but it's a healthy competition. You know, everything that happens on the water stays on the water. When the race is complete, everybody says good race and high fives and smiles and waves and it's all, all in good, good fun, good competition. One weekend you could win, the next weekend something you never know could happen. happen. You, yeah, you never know if it's going to happen in a race. It could be the water, the weather, the, the waves, a bad switch. Anything can happen in a race. The canoe filled up about halfway with water. Yeah, so I don't know if you noticed, we did switch on the way back when we were coming in. Uh, so you just had to stay? We had to stay on minute. one side because we uh, had so much water. Seeing the love of the sport and the way of life in other cultures, you know, that's, that's amazing. From the beginning of our season to the end of our season, we know where we're going to be, we know what we're doing, we have goals, we have milestones that we like to reach. PRs, you can call them. And just like in CrossFit, you know, we, you have structure. You have a place to work out. You have the wad on the board. You go through your whole routine of warm-up, stretches. And we do the same thing in paddling. Technique, form, warm-up, stretches, workout. So the, the more you give of yourself, the more you're gonna get from yourself. And I, I feel that's the same thing with working out and with CrossFit. The more you put into it, the more benefit you're gonna get from it. The healthier you'll be, the stronger you'll be, the faster you'll get. And so that's another parallel of paddling and CrossFit. I think ultimately paddling helps us be our best self. Uh, it's taught me from a very young age, like I said, how to, how to love and respect myself and, and how I treat myself and, and honoring my parents, my grandparents with the way I, I live and carry myself and teaching that to my children. And my children paddle and, and they're doing great things in life as well and, and we really give a lot of credit to the canoe way of life.